Hello, welcome back to Roulette, Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like if you like the content. That'd be a great way of supporting my channel. Again, I'm just going to reiterate that the tools that my brother and myself have developed, you know, you're not going to win all the time using them. Sometimes you'll just, you'll, you might find that you pay for it and you just can't get your win. That could happen, you know. You, the content I'm putting out on YouTube are winning um, videos, basically. So you're going to see me win quite often when I upload something. Most of the time, you'll see you only wins because nobody wants to see uh, losing content. It doesn't uh, appeal to anybody. So what I do say in, on my channel is if I do get a loss and I've had a losing run, I don't generally put a losing video up there. I'll tell you exactly how I lost and where, where I went wrong in my gameplay. Usually it's because I'm either staying on for too long to try and get a hit and becoming impatient and increasing the stakes and I lose my money that way, or um, I'm taking too many risks too soon, that's it. Um, every other time I'll do pretty well, I'll know when to stop. So I want to use the triangulate method this time. So the triangulate method is um, a bit like tracking a dealer's signature, or you're tracking a portion of a dealer's signature. So the last three spins from a table, from the history you're going to input those three numbers and the distance between those three numbers the triangulate point triangulation points the distance between the numbers the pockets are going to be the same every time we lose so every time you get a losing spin um, from us from a, your triangulation set points you click on the number that's just dropped in and the the points will rotate from the center round keeping the distance the same throughout and I'll explain that a little bit better and clearly any second now so click to play input my balance I've got 128 65 submit that I'm going to play at only 10 pence a stake right the minimum chip value for this table click submit leave on the profit and stop you can turn that off if you want but I'm going to leave it on click submit reduce your neighbor number down to one on the racetrack because that's where I'm going to be placing my bet and then what I do is I input the last, it says input last three numbers, but I'm going to put the last two numbers in because that gives me enough time to prepare for placing my bets on the table um, and knowing where they are in the racetrack and the casino. So I know where number one is and I know where number 11 is. I just need another number to go with the 11 and the one and it can't be too close. There needs to be two um, gaps between numbers. Otherwise it won't let me place the bet. <clears throat> you want three clear selections basically 15 so click 15 that's far enough away so this is the triangulation points are set 15 1 and 11 is the bet the so 15 1 11 now this is a flat rate staking plan all the way through i'm going to click bets placed once the casino's taken my money there we go now this white dot to this yellow and that yellow to this yellow and that yellow to that white the distance between pockets will remain constant um the same all the way so 15 1 and 11. so if i lose 24 that's a miss so if i click lost then click 24 it's going to rotate from the center point the white dot will go to 24 so it's rotated around so now i've got 24 4 28 So the distance between this yellow dot and that yellow dot is the same as it was before. The distance between that white dot and this yellow dot is the same. And the distance between this white dot and that yellow dot is the same. When we set the, the numbers up, we've selected 12, um, sorry, 11, 1 and 15 were the selections. This is bet number 2. So 24, 4, 28. 31's a miss, so click lost, click 31. 31, 6, 32. 31, 6, 32, bet's place. Now, on this setup, when I use this tool, when the table's paying and playing, what will happen is, when I get my first win, I'll hit again within three spins of having had that hit. And that generally gives me a profitable value of return. If I'm um, 
if I'm not hit within three spins. I could hit now and get into profit. 31, 6, 32. There you go, 32. There's my hit. Click one. I've made 90 pence, which is even money on my total bet cost. It cost me 90 pence because I'm covering um, nine numbers at 10 pence. Um, so I've got even money on that. Took three spins. I'm going to play the same setup again on the same game and the same to on the same table. Menu. Click to play. One, two, nine, point five, five. Submit. This time I'm going to play at 20 pence. Submit that. Submit that. Input the last two numbers. 31, 32. And then the third. So 30, 31's there. 32's here. And then this number now. 21. 21, 31, 32. 21, 32, 21. So this is going to cost me £1.80. I get £5.40 profit if I hit on this spin. Because get, I get 3 to 1 in terms of profit if it lands on my first spin. I'm waiting for the casino to take my money, which it has. It bets placed. So where we go. 21, 32, 31. So now the distance between the, the numbers are different because I've chosen the last three numbers. So they're going to be different but um, from the previous one. 16 a miss, so we click lost. Click 16. 16, 23, 21. Bet's placed, away we go. Spin number two for £3.60 profit. I'm on 20p stake now. And this is going to be a flat rate all the way. And what I'm trying to, I'm hopefully going to try and demonstrate that I'm going to lose like three spins in a row, then hit on my fourth, and then hit again within three spins to get into profit. That's what I want to demonstrate. But 16, 23, 21. Number 32 again, so lost, click 32, 35, 33. And bet placed. This is now my fourth bet. So my fourth bet will return money back. Now if it hits on this spin, I'm very likely to hit again within four bets. Oh sorry, within three bets, not four, within three. Um, so this is uh, the fourth bet, 32, 5, 32, 35, 33. In fact, this is my third bet, is it? I mean, this is my third, my fourth. I can't remember what this one is. Lost, click, 11, 11, 6, and 3. 11, 6, 3, bet placed, 7.20. So that was my, this is going to be my sixth then. So 11, 6, and 3, I'm down by £7.20. This is my fifth, this is my fifth bet. I'm down by £7.20. So 11, 6, 3, I just want to hit once so I can hit again within three spins. Nearly a hit, one off. That's a little bit unlucky. Lost, click 12, but I'm getting closer. 12, 18, 23. 12, 18, 23. Now I'm £9 down at this point. So as long as I get just the one hit on this setup, if the table's going to start paying from that position when I get my first win, I'll hit again within three spins. That's what I'm trying to demonstrate using this tool. Now, I won't always get my hit and then hit again within three spins. It won't always happen. So 12, 18, 23. That's number nine. Again, that's one off, which is frustrating to see, but it, it, that's how it is. Um, nine, one, twenty-seven. That's placed. I'm ten pounds, eighty pence down. So do I have a stopping point on a 20p stake playing this game? I should have, but at the minute I've not prepared for a stop loss because I think I'm going to win every time I play roulette because um, most of the time I end up winning. So 9, 1, 27. There you go, number 1. That's a hit, click 1. Now I'm going to click on number 1. 1, 5, 25. So 
one, five, 25. So now I would expect to hit again within three spins of having had that hit on number one. So this is my first spin of the three um, spins that I'm expecting to win on if the table is going to play in my favour because this is what generally happens after I've had one hit like I've just had now I usually get another hit within three spins this is the first of the three so 1525 is the bet and that's one off that's a little bit unlucky so click lost click 21 32 so this is my second bet after having had a hit on number one so I'm expecting to hit on this spin as well so 21 likes to repeat so it could go back to 21 which is what I'm hoping for um, but we'll see what happens 21, 32, 31 and that's number 20 which is one off so lost click number 20 20 24 17 uh, 20 24 17 bets placed down at nine nine pound again so this is quite a really good demonstration of this tool because you can see i'm not winning every spin I'm playing more, every spin I'm placing a bet, and this setup, I've had one hit so far on number one. This is my third bet. This is my expected winning bet, uh, this third spin. So 20, 24, 17. And look, it missed, it went to 15, you see. So I don't win all the time, look, 15, 3 and 1. What? Oops, 15, 3, 1. This is a flat rate. I'm in for £10.80. So if I manage to get into profit using this tool, I'm going to stop. I don't want to carry on because this is taking far too long already. So I've determined that that's what's happening here. So you know what? I'm going to not bother any further. Once I've got my hit and got into profit, I'm going to stop. So 15, 3 and 1. Number 36, lost 36, 34, 34, 35, 36. Now, the way that I gamble, it's in my nature to, to increase the stake if I think I'm going to get a win. I will do that. So if I sniff out some kind of action where I think I'm going to benefit from doubling up, then I would normally do that. Uh, on this particular setup, I am going to stick to a flat rate staking plan. 34, 35, 36. 35. One off. One number away again. This is very, very frustrating. 28, 22 and 8. 28, 22. And now this I'm expecting to hit now. So this for me would be a double up. I will be doubling up at this point. 100% a double up this is for me in fact I'll probably increase it so it'll get me into profit because of what what numbers I've got covered so 28 to 8 or 28 to 22 really good numbers 28 22 and 8 and it's not it's gone to 19 so this is all the signs are there I mean not to carry on 19 26 and 20 they're too much further too much longer so what I could do is load up another roulette tool or change tables and try to um, recoup that loss if I wanted to or I could just take a loss of £16.20 I've not yet done that where I've played and stopped at a loss I've always tried to make profit because that's what I tried to do I'm on 19, 26 and 20. Right, that's a hit on 4, neighbour number of the last number. So click 1, click 4, 4, 0, 14. Let's see if this lands. 4, 0, 14. So I'm 10 pounds 80 in. And I want to try and hit again within 3 spins of having had that hit on number 4. So if I hit within 3 spins now, the balance is going to go in the right direction. It's going to grow and I need to hit within three spins of every spin that I hit, basically, to build my balance on the flat rate staking plan. So 
4-0-14. That'll do, 31's another hit, so 31 to win, click 1. Now that puts you right back in into contention of getting into profit. 31, 33, 6. Now if this lands, if I get the hit on this, um, I'll get money back at this point, I think it is. Uh, in fact, no it isn't. This is um, a profit of £1.80 if it lands. So 31, 33 and 6. So I'm looking to hit within 3 spins again now. 31, 33 and 6. Mm, 7. Uh, lost, click at number 7. 7, 9 and 30. But this is this is a really good demonstration. So this is going to give me money back on this spin if it lands, and that'll give me three spins to get into profit. And each one of those three spins, if I hit on one of them, I get into profit as well. So this is a good position to be in if it hits now. Seven, nine, and thirty. There you go, 22 is a hit, so click 1. That puts me right back into money back. Um, oh, it's ended the game for me. Uh, oh, hang on, let me just see if I can do it. Oh, there you go. 22, 20, 13. Away we go. So, that's put me back to square 1. So, I'm now in a position where if I hit within 3 spins, I can get into profit. Which is perfect. So you saw the balance go right down on a flat rate, I and mean, I built it back up again using this tool, which is what I would expect out of it anyway. But 22, 2013. That's number 19, that's okay. Lost, click 19. 19, 26, and 20. This is to £3.60 profit. So, 19, 26, 20. I've been recording now for 17 minutes on this, on this game. This is my second game of this setup. 19, 26, 20. Oh, number two ran on a little bit too much. Two, 15 and 9. This could be a hit. I think this could be a hit. This is going to be the winning spin, I think. And this will give me the smallest amount of return I can get, which is um, one, £1.80, which is even money on my bet. So this will give me £1.80 uh, profit if it lands. And this is my... I'm expecting it's a hit now. Two, 15 or 9 with one number either side. 259. There you go, number 9 landed. And that shot back, that was a manipulated spin, but I got my win, £1.80. I played the uh, triangulate setup. That was really, really hard work. That I found that to be very, very difficult to achieve um, to get that hit. Now, I want to demonstrate again, but at 10 pence stake. I'm going to try and get another hit. So, menu, click to play. 131, because I don't think it's going to go as hard as that this time. Um, in fact, I'm going to play it 50 pence. I'm actually going to play it 50 pence. Uh, submit, because I think I'm going to get my hit straight away here. 2-9. Um, 24. So, 2-9-24. This is a £4.50 bet. Now, if this hits, I'll get £13.50 profit. And I'm looking to walk on this setup. So, the reason I'm carrying on is because I've had a long session there of um, a losing run to build back up again to get into profit. So, I think it's going to start hitting now on the numbers that are, um, you know, I'm just going to start hitting no matter what. So, 24, 9, and 2 is the bet. This is the first bet. And 29 landed, which is a miss. Uh, lost. 29, 0 and 8. So I'm expecting to win any minute. This is the second bet for £9 profit. 
the 29018. This is the triangulate method. So I'm taking three points of this, uh, the last three numbers that I've inputted, and the, this is, distance between the numbers are being static. They're being the same positions. The same distances apart, but spun from the centre point. Six didn't quite travel enough. Six, twenty-three, and twelve. Six, twenty-three, twelve. This um, from six, I'd say the neighbour of six, or it might go towards the twenty-eight. So I'd say thirty-four, six, twenty-seven, or number twenty-eight for a potential hit on this spin which will give me £4.50 profit and I will take that and then that will be me done on this recording so 6.23.12 this is my third game 6.23.12 what's that? is that the neighbour of 28? 7 yeah it's one off bloody typical 7.32.23 this is now for money back so if this hits i get money back and then that'll get award that will award me another three spins to try and get into profit if it hits on this fourth bet so 732 23 but you can see how this goes i'm not gonna win all the time you will get your losing runs it does happen There's 23, that's a hit, that gives me money back, back to zero, so click 23, 23, 20, 19, 23, 20, 19, so I'm back at position number one again, so I've just started on the table again, 50 pence start, if I hit on this spin I get £13.50 profit, and now I'm expecting to hit within three spins, if the table's going to start hitting my numbers now, then within three spins I'm going to get another hit and that will put me into profit. The 23-20-19. That's a zero. A little bit too far on. Two pockets over. Zero, 25 and one. This is for £9 profit. This is my second bet after having had a hit on number seven. Sorry, on number 23. So this is my second bet after having hit on number 23. So the zero lost, but this one hopefully is going to hit. Zero, 25 and one. One of those nine numbers. Zero neighbor, 25 neighbor, one neighbor for profit. Then that's a stop. Oh, that was manipulation, but that's what happens. 15, 34, 14. This is a good set of numbers. Um, if ever I've seen a good set of numbers on this setup, this is it. Um, 15, 34, 14. I keep saying that anyway because I'm wanting to get my hit. This will give me £4.50 profit if this lands. 15, 34, 14. I would expect a hit now. This is my third bet after having had a hit on 23. So this is the expected winning spin. If, if the table's playing in my favour. 15, 34, 14. Nearly. One away. One away from 31. Nine. 9.35.36. So if this one's... If I hit on this spin, I get money back again. And that gives me an extra three spins to try and get another win. So this is my um, fourth bet after having had a hit. So if this hits, I get money back. I'm looking for 9, 35 and 36. 9 typically goes down towards the 10 neighbour area. Um, it doesn't normally go up towards 35. It might go to the neighbour of 9. Well, that's one off again. Neighbour of 3, number 26. Lost. 26, 2, 33. 26. To I'm £22.50 down. This is a 50p stake um, flat rate setup I'm using at the minute. I wanted to just play again for a third time just to try and get another hit and show you how, you know, what could happen, whether I win or lose. 26 233. Number 34. Lost. 
34828. Right, um, this is where I'll be doubling up now. For me, this is a double up because 34 likes to go to the neighbour of 34, and that's where I'll be all over. I'll be all over 34 neighbours here. But 34828 is the bet. And that's one off that's one off the twenty-three. Lost number ten. Ten at fourteen and four. Ten fourteen. Four. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna increase now. Um, now I'm getting impatient. This is me getting impatient now. So I've got one pound fifty per number. So the value in this tool is gonna to be different. To what I've got now. So 10, 14, and 4. If one of these numbers hits, I'm going to be in profit. 10, 14, and 4. Number 16, that's a miss. One off, lost. Click 16, 22, 25. I'm at four times the chip value now. So this is a two pound bet per number. So this is me getting becoming impatient with the setup. <clears throat> and look at the balance, seventy-two pounds eighty-five. So we've got to change a change of dealer. The last dealer didn't give us zero neighbors. So that's my next bet outside of the tool, zero neighbors. So sixteen, twenty-two, and twenty-five is the bet at the minute. And it's thirty-six, which is a miss. I'm going to go with zero neighbours, I'm going to end the tool, we're going to go with zero neighbours here. In fact, there you go. This will give me money back if it lands. If it lands. So I've done zero with four numbers either side because of the change of dealer. So I don't want 36 to go to 36 again or, eight, or 13. I want it to go to 4 to 12. Zero neighbours. 4 to 12. Whoa, that'll do. 15's a hit. That gives me money back. Um, in fact, actually, it puts me into profit. So that, that actually saved the balance statistics. So I would have been further down, minus 33.30. But I, I chose to play the zero neighbours because of the new dealer. And I got the hit on 15. It was manipulated to 15, but I got my hit anyway. And my balance is now 153.85. So... I used a triangulate method to begin with. Um, it hit on my third spin on a small stake, and I got 90 pence, which is the even money value for the amount I was placing the bet out on. The second game was 19 spins. It took on a flat rate to get my profit, but I got in there. I got my profit on 20p stake. And then the third game I played, and I got a bit, uh, I got a bit um, impatient, and that's how I lose my money. I get impatient. I grow impatient. And I start to do bets like I've just done, and I got lucky there, and I hit on number 15, which is the neighbour of the zero, uh, you know, you know, zero neighbours, um, and I managed to get my money back and get into profit. So uh, that was a triangulate method uh, in conjunction with the dealer change zero neighbour. So I'm going to put my new balance in as 153.85, and I'm going to take a £25 profit on that previous uh, starting amount. Um, so I'll set that up uh, for next time. Thanks very much for uh, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this content. But I showed you a brief insight there into, you know, how it could have gone very, very wrong very fast. Because if that would have lost, I would have repeated the bet, and I would have only got at about three more three repeats in total to try and get into, um, you know, build my balance back up. So I could have very, very, very easily blown the whole amount of that, 100%. So just be aware of that. Uh, in your gameplay, if you do the same thing, your best bet is to stop sooner. Um, you know, most of the time, when you get your wins on roulette, they'll come very, very early on. You'll see it. In your, if you play regularly enough, you'll see you'll get your hits early on, no matter what you do. It'll be early on. If it's taking too long and it's a bit of a struggle, then just don't play the table. You know, get, knock it on the head. Give it, give it a wide berth. Take a break or something. 
But that is me done. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the content. I'll be back again soon with more content. See you soon.